So yeah, I'm, I started on my 21st birthday working, but I always wanted to do this kind of stuff. I started out being interested in horror films, as most people who do my kind of thing do. The first big film I worked on was Saving Private Ryan. So that was a big, a big eye opener when I'm 26 years old, working on a Spielberg film, and you get to see what that means. So you see the sheer scale of things and what goes into it. Yeah, we did a couple of seasons of Game of Thrones. I worked with Barry Gower, who ran the department, and it was uh, a lot of throat cutting and blood rigs. And, but underneath that, there's piping and tubing, and there's blood that has to come out at the right rate, the right colour, um, and you need to be able to repeat the gag. So if someone does the action and they bleed out, but it's not quite right, they want to clean up and go again. Uh, the hardest things to do, I think, are the um, realistic character makeups, where you want something to look like its skin. So you might age someone 20 years or something like that. So it's not a significant difference. It's not like an alien or something, but it has to look real. It has to pass muster to the eye. And those things are difficult. And ironically, if you pull them off, people don't really know what you've done. So I started with Laidle almost two years ago. I think it was January of last year. That's when we started working in earnest. So yeah, nearly two years. Um, and initially it was just the the generic sim man skin in two different tones uh, and the idea was basically to to figure out how to paint the hair and how to paint the skin to look like real skin I, I quite enjoy doing it to say yeah it's a different thing but similar enough that it's in my wheelhouse but it's made me think a lot more about um, why I do the stuff I do because obviously if I'm just making something nobody cares why I'm doing it and that's the other thing as well is the durability of these things you know someone's going to be intubating and cleaning and intubating and cleaning the same thing lots of times which again wouldn't happen really on a film set so you've got to make something that looks good but also lasts so again it's kind of like working on that Spielberg film it's like well this is what everyone's doing I need to up my game and make sure that it's you know as good as everything else that's going on around here so. So the idea is to take the head skins because as they come out the mold, they're, they're sort of a basic flesh tone, but they look artificial because they're one single color. And um, human faces typically are not one single color. So you need to put back into that face the right amount of variation to make it look like a real face. Working here with the team at Laird has been fantastic. I've had so much fun. I mean, we've been doing this stuff remotely for some time, like I say, a couple of years, but today was the first day where I've actually just walked in and met everybody and I've met the people I've spoken to on Zoom calls and um, yeah it's been quite something to see that. I mean like I say the, the sheer scale of the operation just seeing what goes on and all the different departments and how uh, how involved everything is it's quite a privilege to be able to see that and go wow I get to fit my little piece that I do fits into this you know this massive machine so uh, I'm quite happy to keep doing it it's been fun.